42. Back now in the kitchen with one of our favorite people, Margaret Marshall, who is whipping up a meatloaf with a couple of great sides to go along with yes, it. Yes, a few great sides to go along with it and to feed your family and make everybody happy. So we're going to do a meatloaf, okay. as we mentioned before. I use beef most often because I like the flavor of it. Mm. You know, as I said before, if you use the chicken or the turkey, you need more um, flavoring in it. Also, what's great about meatloaf is you can put anything you want in it. Mm. You know, you can put anything you want, but I like meatloaf to taste like meat. So I don't put a lot of different vegetables in it. I put some parsley in it and oregano. And these are the magic, the fresh onions and garlic. Mm. Yeah, I love garlic. I just love that. <laughs> you love garlic. I and then I always add more than I should be. <laughs> <laughs> I never touch the meatloaf with my hands. There's no meat. Really? You don't have to take your rings uh, off. You don't have to do anything. Oh. You just keep mixing it together. Okay. I'm, I'm the opposite. I like to get my hands Oh, you do? <laughs> there, I never <laughs> touch it with my hands. Even okay. when I put it into the pan, I, I just do it with a bowl and a spoon. Okay. Put ketchup in it. Everybody has a different way. That's what I love about meatloaf. Yeah. Everyone does it different. <laughs> Anything goes. That's yeah. right. Anything goes. I put ketchup inside of it. I put a little milk inside of it because it helps it stay moist as it's baking. Mm. There's nothing like a dried meatloaf. <laughs> I really, I, my, that makes me, it doesn't make me want to eat it when it's dry, mm. when you overcook it or right. something. Right, right. Right. It happens. right. Well, I think if you put a lot of onions in it, that keeps it moist too. Okay. Fresh onions, yeah, definitely. Mm. Um, one egg for every pound of meatloaf. Always crack your egg in an extra, I always put it in a coffee mug, because you want to check and make sure there's no shells in there or mm -hmm. that the egg is good before you put it into your meal and destroy your meal if it's not good. Good advice. So we always do that. And then breadcrumbs. All right. And then you put your breadcrumbs in to have as much of it you want. And people put oatmeal in it. Mm -hmm. People put all different kinds of breadcrumbs. Some people make their own breadcrumbs, which I have done in the past. Yeah, that's not that difficult, making your own breadcrumbs. No, it's not. Mm. It's not. And if you have extra bread in the house that, you know, is ready to go, nobody wants to make a sandwich out of it anymore, <laughs> you make breadcrumbs out of it. And then you just take all of this, you keep... Um, mixing it together. Mushing it together. I put it in a loaf pan. This is the only time I ever use canned vegetables. Really? For some reason, whole canned potatoes taste great with meal. Oh, I don't know why. I've been doing it for years. I've done it with regular potatoes. It just doesn't taste any good. I'm a potato gal. I think some moms are relieved to hear that because that's a lot quicker. It's <laughs> a lot <laughs> quicker. What an admission there, uh, It's Margaret. the only <laughs> time. I, otherwise, I always use fresh vegetables, but I always use canned um, whole potatoes. Okay. And then I just put it into the pan. You make a loaf. Like I said, you just take it. You don't ever have to touch it. You make it into any size that you want, any kind of dish that you want. I put the canned bits, drain the potatoes, mm. put them around it. I put the paprika. Like yeah, paprika. I put paprika all over everything. I ice the meatloaf with more ketchup. Okay. Then we put it in the oven, and you know this is a pound. I put it in for about an hour at 350. If it was two pounds of meat, it would be a little longer. Mm -hmm. And um, then I steam broccoli, and uh, you know, bu being a busy mom. Yeah. Whenever you have time during the day, I clean the vegetables, I put them in the pot, and I put them in with ice cubes. Keeps them fresh through the day. What a great tip. And then when you come home, you just turn your stove on, let them steam. It's all done. Okay. And you made that look so beautiful. For that being look great. So right. Margaret, thank you so much for coming okay. on and joining us. I'm going to try this. My pleasure.